So you've also probably used the square root, which is actually a radical now that we're, we're understanding this. You've taken a square root to get rid of a second power. All right. Why do we do that? All right. And the reason we do that is if we have an x to the second, we want to solve for just regular old x, which is x to the first. All right. And to do that, we have to get rid of or do the opposite of or turn that into an x to the first. And the easiest way to turn the two into a one is to multiply it by one half. That's going to give me one. So I want to be able to do this in math, all right, using math. And when we've done things up to this point, all right, we haven't spent a ton of time on this rule because we supposedly already know this. All right, we probably talked about the fact that if I have powers like that, the powers actually multiply, and this would give me x to the 2 times 1 half, which is x to the 1. All right, and so that's why we use roots to get rid of powers. All right, and this right here is an explanation of what I just did. All right, square root of x to the second is x to the 2 over 2, which is x to the first, all right, which is just regular x. All right, so then it says here we're going to need to consistently change between fractional and radical form to solve equations and perform operations throughout the unit. All right, and if you have any higher level math above this class that you ever take, you're going to have to be able to play around with exponents in order to be able to solve lots of different equations that you normally would not be able to do if you can't swap the forms. And we're actually going to have a logarithmic thing that we're going to do later in the year uh, that's all about exponents, and we have to be switching forms a lot of that also.